Hello guys and girls, this is Andy Rafael from eTechnics.com and we're here at the ASUS 2011, LGA 2011 ASUS event and uh, what we're actually looking at now is the Sabertooth X79. Um, as we all know, Sabertooth 3 is really sort of um, one down from uh, ROG and it really focuses on sort of uh, thermal conductivity and just keeping stability at an all-time maximum. So what we can actually see here is a complete system going and what they've really sort of uh, spoke about today is the cooling and the thermal side of things. So down here we have an active fan uh, which is uh, obviously cooling some of the main aspects of the board. We've got our quad channel memory on either side and there's also another little fan up here by your rear I.O. Uh, which is quite handy um, and that fan can actually be turned over depending on whether you want to push or a pull configuration um, depending on really if you've got a 120mm fan here because if you have we've just been speaking about this having a 120mm exhaust fan here can cause some problems with uh, sort of the hot air swirling around so sort of being chucked out round and then back through the case um, so they, they've actually thought about this really with uh, the ability to swap that fan over and sort of turn it around to have it in a push or a pull configuration. Now what they've been looking at um, over here is some of the cool features in regards to the BIOS. So at the moment we're running 0604, just before this we were actually running on a newer BIOS and this is all down to a feature here on the, uh, on the rear I.O. So here on the rear I.O. there's actually a dedicated USB port uh, called the USB BIOS flashback. Now if we just move around to there, you see that and then there's a button. So what you can actually do now is you can upgrade the BIOS on this particular motherboard without having a CPU or anything in there. All you need is the board and a power supply. And then you can simply put your USB stick into here and uh, press that button. A couple of minutes later, voila, your BIOS is updated or downgraded depending on what you want to do, which has always been a problem with other motherboard manufacturers. Now one of the other key things that, um, that they were focusing on is the thermal radar, which uh, they're just showing over here. And what it is, is focusing on Sabertooth with the amount of sensors that it has uh, for thermal conductivity. So you can measure your CPU, your motherboard, your V-Core, all these different temperatures straight off the motherboard. And you can even control um, the fans that are on there um, to control it really manually. You can do it manually or you can set profiles so you can have it as a, a manual one where you can just drop the temperatures down so you can basically increase the fan when it gets to a certain temperature. Uh, but in, in much more of a versatile way or you can just set the predefined profiles so the predefined profiles will just allow you to sort of select a silent mode or a turbo mode and really get the system running how you want it to uh, with, a, with a decent balance between obviously the noise as well as the, the overall performance and these are some of the key things that's really making the tough series stand out uh, on these new x79 asus motherboards <laughs>